getting that hand in there. On to overtime. Kramer stealing away the tip. And drops the first one in. I don't think you're going to hear a whole lot of complaining about that from Purdue after the game because the Boilermakers play their game around the perimeter. And there'll be games where they shoot 20, 25 free throws, but the majority of those free throw opportunities are going to come off dribble penetration. Taylor Griffin off to Crocker. Warren launches, left it well short. Rebound comes to Blake Griffin. And now the Sooners will set one up here in the opening seconds of overtime. At least our first overtime. Griffin finds Crocker. Johnson penetrates. Off the window. Nicely done. A little dribble weave action by Oklahoma. Good finish by Aaron Johnson. 11 lead changes, six times we've been tied in this one. You know, Matt Painter with Jackson, a freshman on the bench, and Jawan Johnson, a sophomore on the bench, clearly has more confidence at this stage of the season with his more experienced unit. Green off the fake, draws out Taylor Griffin. Now he needs some help. Here's Keaton Grant, the point guard. Now the Boilermakers looking at the shot clock, dwindling down to seven. Have to get one off here. Moore slices in with the one-hander, just beat it. Oh, he's so pretty, so enjoyable to watch. And again, there's an effortlessness, an ease that he plays the game with. 78-76 Boilermakers. Oklahoma with Griffin, Crocker, Johnson, Taylor Griffin, and Willie Warren on the floor. In overtime. Taylor Griffin trying to give it up and be on some duress. Sometimes the most basic fundamentals become challenging. Did I create a new word there? Effortlessness? Or is it probably just effortless? I think you can get by with that, yeah. I'm just delighted he went with one instead of three. Chalice on. He hits that shot, a two-pointer. You don't like my triples, my trifectas? The ability to step out, knock a three down. I know if there's one coming, there's three coming. Juju Bees, Mike and Ikes. Milk Duds. <laughs> Chalice out to chase Willie Warren. One-hander. Lots of iron, but he drops it down. Timeout, Oklahoma. Win it. Get anything less. <laughs> Kramer looking to get it in, does. A little full-court pressure by Oklahoma. I like this coming out of a timeout. Just a different look. Try and disrupt Purdue's offensive rhythm, and they fall back into his zone. Nice call by Jeff Capel. See how Purdue counters or attacks. Two really good young coaches, in Painter and Capel, squaring off here in the garden. Shot clock down to 13 for the Boilermakers, leading by two. See them trying to search out Chalison underneath. Still would like to go back to each one more. Moore calling for the ball. Shot clock down to two. They've got to get it off. Kramer had to force it. Shot clock violation. In a film session uh, back in West Lafayette this week before yeah. they play Duke. We talked about all the turnovers. I mean, very, very high for Purdue. They're stingy with the ball. Uncharacteristic. Blake Griffin, great spin move. High off the window. Taylor Griffin rips it down. Warren wants to shoot it, and that's blocked. Boy, Marcus Green, good job of recovering and getting the hand up for that block. Crocker taking the baseline, and he draws a foul. From San Antonio at the line for the Sooners. No State in Boise State. College football primetime. Stay right where you are. This game is in overtime in Madison Square Garden. Looking to settle the championship of the Dick's Sporting Goods NIT season tip-off. Oklahoma staying in that zone. Again, watch this area of the floor right there. Purdue will send or alternate players through that area. Another air ball by Kramer. He thought he got fouled on the arm. Didn't see it. So Oklahoma with the ball lab and with an opportunity to take the lead in overtime, they'll take a timeout. You know. Kade Davis on the floor here for the Sooners. Very good beyond the three-point line, typically. Blake Griffin gives off to his brother, who got airborne in the lane. Johnson wants the big fella. He draws three bodies and draws a foul as well. Grant thought it was clean, but when you reach your hand in the cookie jar, so to speak, with that kind of downward motion. Cookie jar as a kid, huh? Still do. A little too often. He rolls in both of those, and so Oklahoma has the lead, 81-80 in overtime. That's the 12th time the lead has changed hands. 
timeout for Matt Painter and Purdue. They're getting better because of this game, regardless of the outcome. Boilermaker basketball. Kramer with Warren sticking to him. Lost his dribble. Chalison. Crocker has been dogging each one more, but he finally gets the touch. Here's the high pick and roll. We've seen a lot of that in New York for the Boilermakers. Moore pulls up his dribble. Crocker sticks with him, and he forced the turnover. Well, Crocker's long arms and height has caused Moore some problems. So a good defensive matchup there for Oklahoma. Oklahoma with the ball and the lead here. With 25 seconds, nearly forcing a turnover are the Boilermakers. And a whistle here. So an inadvertent whistle, timeout granted, as we've gotten that sorted out. Right now, Blake Griffin is on the bench. He's a bit of a liability when it comes to shooting foul shots. Davis is fouled. Hey, if they're down one or down two or down three, because you're on the ball and look for something in transition. If he doesn't like what he sees, he may then call the timeout. Oklahoma by three. Ah, interesting. Oh. Jeff Cable is going to call the timeout to set his defense. Purdue ball. Lewis Jackson, the freshman point guard. It's the penetration, looking for a three-point opportunity. No, oh. throws it out of bounds. Bounced it out. Not done yet. 9.5 seconds remaining. Oklahoma with the ball in the lead. Crocker up in front, and he's tied up and fouled. The shots, and they get the ball back. Their athletic department with the women's team ranked number four. This is still very competitive. Texas Rick Barnes team has some outstanding players led by Damian James, James and working the official. The official he's all over is Mike Stevens. For a last foul is Etwan Moore. And that should wrap things up here as Chalashan shot. Should count and it will. Great win for the Sooners. You see him celebrating. Take it home. The NIT championship here in 2008.